So progressive supranuclear palsy is a Parkinson mimic. So it's a look-alike, either an atypical Parkinson or a Parkinson plus syndrome. So with PSP, progressive supranuclear palsy, patients can look like Parkinson's disease. Their walking can be slow, they can be shuffling. But very early on in the piece, things change. Their balance becomes severely affected and they'll often start falling. And they, they look a bit stiff and they fall often backwards and look as though they're a tree being felled. Clinically, uh, when patients come in to see someone like myself, the thing that gives away progressive supranuclear palsy is abnormal eye movements where the eyes may be moving slower and with a restricted range to what we would expect um, for, for normal aging. And that helps us to be more definitive about making the diagnosis of PSP. There are other clinical features in PSP where memory can be affected and also problems where the hand might be clumsy as part of other syndromes that you can hear about elsewhere on this website.